Hello everyone, welcome back to EV Screen. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you're new here and be sure to leave a like and leave a comment. Tell us what you like about our videos. And also, if you don't like something about our videos, be sure to tell us about that as well. Massachusetts-based solid-state battery developer Factorial announced it has received United Nations 38.3 safety certification for its automotive solid-state cell, which means the 100 plus amp hour batteries can now be safely transported by air, sea, or land. The company claims it's the first lithium metal solid-state battery maker to receive the globally recognized certification that covers cells with a capacity of over 100 ampere hour. The UN 38.3 standard involves a series of tests including crushed thermal vibration shock, external short circuit, altitude simulation, and force discharge all performed by a third-party agency. The tests ensure the cells can be withstand various conditions without any hazardous risks and are mandatory for batteries that are transported by air, sea, or land. With this certification under its belt, Factorial can now ship its solid-state cells to car makers around the world, with Stellantis, Mercedes-Benz, Hyundai, and Kia already on the list of partners. Receiving the UN 38.3 safety certification shortly after our CES preview of 100 plus ampere hour cell is a huge accomplishment and signals that we are on the right track to building safer high energy density batteries, said Siu Hyong, CEO of Factorial Energy. This certification further demonstrates our focus on not only performance but safety. We look forward to delivering 100 plus ampere hour batteries to our partners with the safest certification accomplished. Back in January, Factorial unveiled a 100 ampere hour solid state battery cell concept at the 2023 Consumer Electronics Show CES in Las Vegas with the CEO of Stellantis Carlos Tavares saying that, that Factorial cells have a higher density than conventional lithium ion batteries, which could enable a longer driving range or a lighter vehicle depending on what the manufacturers want to prioritize. Based on Wobo in Massachusetts, the company has developed proprietary technology that leverages a solid electrolyte that has been scaled in 100 ampere hour cells and works at room temperature. Called Factorial Electrolyte Systems Technology Fest, the process is also compatible with existing lithium ion battery manufacturing equipment, which has the potential to cut costs dramatically compared to other solid state battery systems. The startup claims its cells are up to 50% more energy dense than similar lithium ion batteries which use a liquid electrolyte. As always, let us know your thoughts on this and have a great day.